All right, guys, uh, I'm going to try to do this in the next uh, half hour to 45 minutes. Uh, go through the project and create an example for you guys to see. Uh, hopefully, I don't get too many uh, distractions here. Uh, so this project, what I want you guys to do is to use Desmos and to make a themed image uh, using at least 10 conic sections. Uh, two of them have to be parabolas, two of them have to be hyperbola, two ellipses, and two circles. Uh, so that means you got two extra ones that you can use whatever you can also do more than 10 there's no reason why that um, we're going to write equations for each one of those but since we're going to be using desmos um, the equations will be there we'll just have to label them that's the extra thing um, the one thing about this is it'd be nice if you have a rough draft but we can kind of use desmos to fix that for us and make sure you, your project has a title has a theme it's not just a bunch of shapes you can't be like oh. yeah um, I show Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so make sure your project has a theme. You can't just be like, oh, this is a Jackson Pollock of geometric shapes. Um, so here we go. Um, so if we were doing this in class, we'd have you fill out this worksheet, but everything's gonna be on Desmos. Uh, so here's how the points go. You get basically two points each um, for if your parabolas are good, your circles are good, hyperbola is good, ellipses are good, and you have 10 shapes. So there's 10, uh, you have a themed, uh, your presentation is shared and then there aren't really any mistakes. So the, with this, we'll kind of show you, you want to make sure that you, if you have a shape, you can kind of limit the range of it. So there's just, just a couple examples that people have done on paper here. Um, somebody tried to make like a Tweety bird using ellipses and circles, or they kind of made these like weird alien figures too. Uh, a couple of people made some fish and some other weird shapes, a diamond mouse, so and so forth, a jigglypuff. There's um, some actually pretty good examples, some, um, some people doing like Nintendo figures um, online that you guys can follow through too if you want to do those. Um, and other couple tricks you can do. So let's see if I can do this now. Let's go to Desmos. All right, all right, hopefully this is working. I'll double check that in a minute. All right, full screen here, let's go to Desmos. All right, so go to Desmos, we're gonna start graphing. Let me make sure we're doing this right. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make just like a person. That's what I'm gonna just try to do, a very simple person right here, uh, and go through shapes that I can think of. All right, so first I'll think of their face. Their face is a circle, and all circles kind of start out x squared over uh, a number, and I'm gonna make this like 100, make it Pretty big number plus and then y squared over that exact same number because a circle is an ellipse with equal axes all right so I got a big circle there's gonna be my face yeah, pretty simple now if you ever want to change anything on Desmos uh, what you can do is just click and hold on the little icon there and you can change the color so um, uh, red's fine with me I'll make it orange there's probably a joke about something there. Okay, um, next let's make a, let's make him happy. So I'm gonna make a parabola here for his face. So a parabola uh, up and down one starts out with y equals. So y equals. Uh, there's always like x minus h, uh, which I want it centered. So I'm gonna put zero here to keep it centered. Squared. And then plus k, and I want it to go down. So I'm gonna okay. I'll try five eh, down a little more. Uh, let's do six, uh, seven, eight. Uh, we'll do seven. Now that's a super skinny smiley face. So I'm gonna spread this out by remembering that there's this a term here, and if I make it a fraction, it makes it wider. So I'll make it uh, x divided by four. Eh, not enough. Five, six, six looks pretty good. I can make that a decimal if I want, but um, okay. So that smiley face is real creepy. You can see it goes all the way through their head. I kind of only want the smiley face to start here. So if we want to make a range where the smiley face only works is once we got an equation that works at the end, we're going to put these uh, braces here. So shift here and we can name by X or Y limits, but I'm just going to do Y. So I'm going to say for any Y that is less than negative, well, yeah, try zero. You can see it goes all the way up. I'll do negative one, 
negative two, negative two looks good. And then I'll just close the brace. So that way we have a parabola that doesn't go across the whole graph. Um, and it's nice there. All right, so I got a circle, I got a parabola. Um, how about we make, um, make some eyes. So, okay, eyes, I think we probably need circles. So I'm gonna just copy my circle code here, control C, control V. Um, but, all right, we want the circles to be smaller. So uh, let's do something like 25, 25, just kind of seeing here the height. Okay, that's still way too big. All right, how about four by four? So you can see, oh, that kind of looks like a, you know what? It looks like a big nose as an ellipse, but so that might be something I want to do later on. Uh, four, four, even that, geez. It's kind of big, you know, big eyeballs are fine. Okay, but the problem is that's right in the center of his nose. I want him up here, so we got to do the H and K part. So I'm going to change the X. I'm going to put it in parentheses. X minus, um, let's just do four. Close that. Okay, so that moved it over four to the right four, and then we'll do, let's do Y minus four. Okay, that's a pretty good spot for the eyeball. Um, and then if I want another one on the other side, I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm just going to do an X plus four. Oh, plus four. There we go. Um, let's make the eyeballs the same color. So I'm going to click that green. There we go. You know what? Might as well make some pupils too. So I'll just copy these. Uh, Control C, um, but to make pupils, I'll just make them smaller. So let's do one and one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, let's do ellipses. Because then we got two circles. Actually, we got three circles. We'll have two ellipses. Control C. Oh, I turned that off. Um, and then for this one here, what do we got to do? Uh, I want to make this a plus four. Uh, minus one. Ooh, no, not scary eyes like that. Okay, so I got a smiley face going. I got a parabola. I got uh, two ellipses. I got two circles. I got three circles, actually. Okay, I need a hyperbola. Well, let me put a couple of dimples here because remember, hyperbola can be like a shape like this or it could be up and down, kind of that same curve. No, that was really good, Riz. Like, okay, I usually think hyperbola is like that. All right, so hyperbola, let's see, this is going to be a horizontal hyperbola, so it's gotta start out with X. Uh, I'm just gonna put like, well, I'll put X minus zero here, squared, uh, then divided by, uh, I'll just pick a number, probably like, well, we could figure out the range here. Um, well, I'm gonna put 25, and then I'll put minus, and then, uh, y minus, uh, well, this one we got to drop it down a little bit, so I'll put plus, let's just guess three. I'm just guessing here. These are all going things we'll have to change. And then we'll divide this by um, a number, let's say four. Let's see how well, we're just guessing here, equals one. Okay, got a really good guess there. Um, so it looks like I probably want to shift this up just a little bit. So instead of uh, plus three, let's make this plus two. Um, and I kind of want to move it out a little bit more. And to move it out, if I move this, this will shift it over. So the one cheek will be like this. I want to spread it out. So I'm going to change the X number, make the X number a little bit bigger. Uh, 30. Hey, that looks pretty good. So what I want to do though is just to kind of cut it off the edges here. So I really only want this to look when X is between, let's say, I don't know, what's that? Negative seven to positive seven. So I'm going to put a range here with the brace and say, all right, negative seven, um, which is less than X, which is less than positive seven. Okay, that's a little too much. Maybe make it like negative 6.5 to positive 6.5. There we go. Hey, look at, we got a hyperbola smiley face. Now that only counts as one hyperbola. Uh, so let's see, what else do we need to have? Um, we need, we got circles done, we got ellipses done. We need another parabola. 
and another hyperbola, um, which we probably can get that done with the nose. Maybe if I do like a parabola, like a skinny parabola, and then, I don't know, maybe make some nostrils or something. Or uh, maybe, oh, ears. Ears. Ears would work, right? Um, yeah. So let's start playing around with some things here. Um, let me get another parabola. Let's get a parabola nose going. All right, so parabola. Here's my parabola originally. I'm going to copy that. And, um, but I'm going to make this skinnier. So there we go. In fact, I might even make it skinnier too. A three. Oh, that's kind of creepy. It looks like a Groot or Gru from. Thing. All right. And I want to shift it up. So this was a minus seven. Let's make them like a minus. Oh, Did I go anywhere? Oh, because of the Y. I'm going to get rid of this thing. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe, there we go. Maybe I only wanted this to start from like y equals one. So I'll put a brace here. Y is less than one. All right. So, hey, if we start looking at the things I got, I got a circle face, two circle eyes. So there it takes the circles. I got two ellipses. I got two parabolas. I got one hyperbola. So I need another hyperbola. Um, let's see. I could do like make them have like a flat top haircut. That could be something. Oh yeah, like, all right. So I'm gonna take this hyperbola that we have and duplicate it and I'm gonna start shifting and I'm gonna get rid of the limits here. All right, so if I wanna make his hair kind of like, I don't know, like Guile from Street Fighter Two. Um, I'm going to shift it up quite a bit. So we got to change the Y to like Y minus five. No, more than that. Minus eight. No, minus 10. Okay. It's starting to get there. Um, I don't think I need to shift. I kind of want to keep his hair centered. That would look nice. I do want to spread it out a little bit wider. So instead of 30, let's do 36, but then I need to make it taller. So instead of four, we'll do like 10. No, nope. 16, Ooh, that's getting close. Uh, let me zoom the picture out a little bit here. Um, and I'm just, you know, this is the thing when you make one, you're just gonna guess and check. Ooh, 20 looks really good. All right, so I want this to go from basically mm, negative 7.3 to positive 7.3. So I'm just gonna copy this over here, make a range from negative 7.3 to positive. 7.3 all right and then his hair needs to have like a sweet i can make a flat line if i wanted to remember a flat line is just like y equals god oh geez what is this number here uh so undefined whatever 13 and then i can just put a range and say this range is only going to be when x is at same thing here Look at this guy. He looks like more like Thomas the Trigg. So uh, let me go through and see if we got everything. We got to have 10 total things. So I got three circles, three circles, and I got uh, two ellipses for eyes. I got parabola nose, parabola mouth, hyperbola dimples, hyperbola hair, and then the flat line is not nice. So I need another conic set. So uh, I'm just going to make a body. Um, so I'm going to make the body like a real skinny ellipse here. All right, so where's my ellipse? Um, okay, here's an ellipse for the eyeball. I'm just going to duplicate that. And But I don't want it right there. I want it to be centered, so it's going to be at zero. Nice. I can, um, and I'm going to shift it down. So I'm going to put like um, plus five. No, no. I gotta chip that down way more, plus 10. I'll probably change this. Now, I wanna make his body way bigger. That looks ridiculous if his body's that skinny. So uh, let's make his body wider. So that means I gotta change the X to, let's say like 81. Okay, that might work. And then I make it way taller. I'm gonna make it taller than 81, like um, 
144. Okay, so I got to shift this down quite a bit. So, okay, instead of plus 10, let's do plus 20. Okay, that would look pretty good. I just don't want it to overlap. So in order to do this, I'm gonna think vertically. I want it to work when, uh, let's see, the Y is about like negative nine. So I'm gonna make a limit here is the one Y is less than negative nine and a little negative 9.1, 9 9.2, okay. There we go. Okay, so I got a person here and I can add arms and everything to it, but I just kinda wanna show you real quickly how you can make a picture. Uh, we got 10 conic shapes. We got two hyperbolas, uh, two ellipses, two parabolas. Uh, now what we just need to do is to label this. So each one of these, I'm gonna just put a note here. And so this first one here, if I forgot, I'll say this is a circle and for his face. And then I'm gonna add another note and you can drag these around here. Okay, next, what's this one? Oh, this is a parabola. I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go, parabola for his smile. And then, okay, I'm just gonna keep adding notes here, what everything is. What are these ellipses? Are circles for eyes? Circle, eyes, and I'm just gonna, okay. And then, uh, you know what, that's the same thing on there, so I don't need to. Well, actually, we are kind of double counting it, so might as well do both. And then we got another ellipse for a pupil. So after that's these black ones. That's kind of nice about having these color coded too. Um, there's actually two ways that you can fill in the colors. Oops. What's this? Oh, dimples. Uh, do, 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 duplicate. Well, we need to do note. A parabola. Dimples. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, do you guys get the hang of this? I just want to show you, make the video quicker. So you'd go through, label everything out. Uh, actually, oh, what? so um, what we're going to do here, oh man, I hope this works. Uh, I'm going to sign in. You have to be signed in. I guess we probably should have said this too. Let's see if it saves. If not, I'll change, edit this video. Um, I'm just going to sign into my school one. Okay, uh, I'm going to rename this as uh, Conic Section project and I'll put my name here you put your name and then to submit this what you're going to do is in the top corner here you're going to click share and you're going to just copy this link you have to do you have to click share otherwise it will not save and if you close this out it will delete everything that you did so click share copy and then what you're going to do is go to canvas and you will submit the web URL there so you'll go down here in Algebra 2, and you'll go through. So you'll get to Canvas, and you'll scroll down here, and you'll see Conic Section Project, Decimal Submission. Uh, I'm on Teacher, so it'll look different. You'll have to click on that. Actually, you won't see anything on mine because I'm the teacher, and nobody's turned it in yet. But you'll click uh, Submit over here, and you'll just give me your web URL. So hopefully that helps. Hope you guys can have some creative things. Guys, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can make sports themes, you know, footballs. So hopefully you guys saw a couple things. You can, yeah, just look up an image. Anything you want to do, think, just mess, mess around with it. It's kind of fun. Um, that's all I wanted you guys to do is just have some fun, do some creative things. Um, if I got some good ones, I will share them out on Twitter and Instagram and everything. All right, have a great one. Stay safe. Only one more assignment to do.